What do you do when your oil painting palette just gets real gunky and won't give up the color? I have a little method here that you might find helpful. If you're using a plastic palette, such as I use for my teaching palette and also for my plain air work, um, what usually happens is we don't clean our palette when we finish work and we come back the next day and it really is all gunky and then we have a chore. Well, I have a, a simple method here. Now, this palette hasn't been sitting all night. It's, it's one that I just finished using uh, a little while ago, so it'll be a little different, but the principle is still the same. First of all, uh, you want to clean away all the excess top paint. And that's easy enough to do when you've just finished the palette, just using a palette knife and scraping the paint away. Now, when, when the palette has set overnight, that's not so easy to do, because a lot of the colors will cling to the palette. And in that case, you can use a little window scraper like this. Now, you have to be careful of plastic palette because the window scraper will dig into it so you need to hold it at an angle it doesn't matter whether you hold it at an angle like this or an angle like this but you do need to hold it at an angle and you just pull like this now if your plastic palette is like mine and has been used many many times uh, it will have some digs and dinks digs dings in it and 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 so then you wonder what to do about that also, when it's set overnight, you're going to have lots of residue left. Well, I have an answer for that, too. All it takes is Murphy's oil soap, alcohol in a bottle. That's just plain rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. And a toothbrush that you have trimmed at an angle like this. So, we can take the Murphy's Oil Soap, dip the toothbrush in the Murphy's Oil Soap like this, and simply, using a circular motion, rub it on the palate, or scrub it, scrub it into the palate like that. Like that, over the whole thing, wherever you see color, wherever you see residues of color, you give it a good scrub. Now the, the, advantage of, of, uh, the advantage of trimming it at an angle is you get better leverage and uh, it's not quite so hard on your wrist especially if your palette is like mine and, it, uh, and you're digging inside a little box here. So we do this. Now if there's lots of paint embedded in that there's one other material that you'll need and that is some plastic wrap. So, pull out a sheet of plastic wrap and you lay it on top of the Murphy's oil soap scrubbing without doing any further thing, anything further to it. Just lay the plastic wrap over top. Now that seals out the, um, the air and it enables then the Murphy's oil soap to soften all that residue of paint. Even if your palette has been sitting for a week or even if it's been sitting, if it's been sitting for months, the Murphy's oil soap is going to do the job. So uh, I like to leave this on here overnight. Sometimes you can uh, go back to it in about four to six hours and it'll be ready. Then the thing to do is to lift the, uh, the plastic wrap off Using paper towel, take away, take away the top layer, or as much as you can. And um, usually, the paper towel is going to take away, uh, you, you, it's going to take away all the residue. You're going to see it relatively clean. But you don't want that soap to stay on the palette uh, to be mixed with your paint. So that's where the, the rubbing alcohol comes in. Give it a good, good, good um, soaking of rubbing alcohol. And what the, the rubbing alcohol also helps loose, loosen any further residue. And then follow that up with paper towel. 
a little bit of scrubbing action here like this and you see how beautifully clean my palette is becoming and it really is not that much effort now I'm seeing in here uh, some staining some residue left from uh, the work I just did or having had the paint on the palette for a little while but you see there's not much and if I had left that overnight I wouldn't have that there at all. Now I like to give this at least two if not three um, rounds or sequences of this alcohol because I want to be sure that the murkiness is all gone and so I don't have to worry about it contaminating my paint uh, next time I load the palette. So I will do that and also it just leaves such a nice pristine palette that just makes you want to go ahead and load the palette and start painting again. Another thing you might note is that after you finish that particular, at least the second or the third sequence of the alcohol, check your paper towel. If it's got any color on it at all, it's a good idea to, to go again. And just be safe. Now, I know a lot of people like to use uh, paper palettes because uh, they don't like the whole cleaning process. Um, but if you do use a plastic palette or if you'd like to give it a try, uh, I think you'll find that this is a perfect answer to cleaning your palette. If you found this quick tip was helpful, you might go to our website at dyingmice.com. We have a huge library of video tutorials, uh, both in downloads and for DVDs, and a very good price. So you might browse there and give it a try. And there's your quick tip.